Tanks, today's feared armored vehicles, have become one of the most critical elements of modern battlefields. Today, I want to tell you how ineffective the Merkava tanks, known as the Pride of Israel, have been in light of the events of the Gaza War. Merkava tanks are touted as one of the best tanks in the world. Praised by the Israeli army, these tanks were designed to excel on modern battlefields. However, in the recent fighting in Gaza, the inadequacy of these tanks has been exposed. The Merkava tanks suffered heavy losses against the relatively simple and low-cost rockets of the Al-Qassam brigades. These modern Israeli tanks were rendered useless in Gaza. First, we see that military technology does not always match the realities on the ground. Merkava tanks may be perfect on paper, but their actual performance in the field tells a different story. The vulnerability of these tanks, even to simple rockets, shows the limits of technology in military strategy. Why does the Israeli army consistently deny these allegations, despite the fact that there are videos of the destruction of Merkava tanks in Gaza by the Al-Qassam brigades? What are the strategic and political reasons behind the Israeli military's denials? What are the military and public opinion implications of their refusal to acknowledge that Merkava tanks were severely damaged in Gaza? The Gaza Strip has been the center of conflicts that have been going on for years, and many military actions and claims have been made in this process. In particular, videos and reports about the Al-Qassam brigades destroying Israel's famous Merkava tanks have had a great impact. The videos released by the Al-Qassam brigades clearly show the Merkava tanks that were hit and destroyed. These videos not only document the destruction of the tanks, but also reveal the intensity and reality of the fighting. Eyewitnesses and reports from independent observers in the region also corroborate these claims. In intense conflict zones such as Gaza, technological monitoring and logistical data provide important evidence. Independent military analyses that track Israeli military operations report tank losses and damage over specific periods. These analyses provide concrete evidence of tank destruction, despite Israeli denials. However, it is clear that facts cannot be ignored and such denials will lose credibility in the long run. The emergence of the facts will contribute to a better understanding of the conflict and the situation in the region. The Israeli army's Merkava tanks only fire at empty buildings and do not engage the Al-Qassam brigades directly, why is this strategy preferred and how does it affect the Israeli army's ability to fight? The impact of this strategy on the army's ability to fight must be evaluated both positively and negatively, as the Israeli army's Merkava tanks only fire at empty buildings and do not directly fight the Al-Qassam brigades. This shows that the Israeli army's ability to fight is weak. This is even more evident in the footage of the tanks retreating and fleeing when confronted by the Al-Qassam brigades. This strategy of the Israeli army points to two important points from a military perspective. First, firing into empty buildings rather than confronting the enemy directly shows how ineffective the military is in the face of a real threat. Secondly, retreating in the face of the Al-Qassam brigades also reveals the psychological weakness of the Israeli army. Merkava tanks are equipped with strong armor, high firepower and advanced defense systems. The Israeli army has designed these tanks for superior performance on modern battlefields. The features of Merkava tanks are important factors that distinguish them from other tanks around the world. But why did Merkava tanks, so trusted, fail in Gaza? To understand the answer to this question, we need to examine the conflict environment in Gaza and the tactics of warfare there. Gaza is known for its narrow streets and dense residential areas. Such an environment is very challenging for large and heavy tanks. Maneuvering and maintaining mobility in narrow streets is a serious challenge for tanks. In addition, detecting and targeting enemy elements in densely populated areas is also very complex.
During the fighting in Gaza, one of the biggest challenges facing the Israeli army was the underground tunnels. Hamas' sudden attacks using these tunnels neutralized the defense systems of Merkava tanks. The attacks coming out of the tunnels penetrated the armor of the tanks and caused serious damage. This situation called into question the superior performance of Merkava tanks in modern battlefields. Another important factor is the guerrilla tactics used in Gaza. In guerrilla warfare, small, fast-moving groups have an advantage over large, heavily armored vehicles. These tactics employed by Hamas limited the mobility of Merkava tanks and made them easy targets. Such asymmetric warfare conditions severely reduced the effectiveness of tanks. Another reason for the inadequacy of Merkava tanks in Gaza is the changing dynamics of modern battlefields. Today, wars are not only won with tanks and heavy armored vehicles. Unmanned aerial vehicles, advanced intelligence systems and cyber warfare have become the defining elements of modern wars. The importance of these elements has once again become evident in the conflict in Gaza. Merkava tanks were ineffective against these modern warfare elements because they were not sufficiently integrated. In conclusion, while tanks still have an important place on modern battlefields, they are not sufficient to achieve victory on their own. Adapting to asymmetric warfare conditions, integrating modern warfare elements and developing strategies according to changing warfare dynamics will be the key elements that will bring success in future conflicts. If you like this video, please don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments as well. See you in the next video.